because sometimes the pressure to get good grades actually prevents people from learning, strange as that sounds, <laughs> but uh, it's because they just sort of don't want to ask what they think is a stupid question because somehow they feel it's going to bias the professor against them. And, you know, by taking that away in the boot camp, by having it pure pass fail, and everybody's going to pass, um, you know, it, it does promote learning. It just takes away some of the stress. Right. So, and even, <laughs> even from an industry perspective, when I interview or look at job candidates coming in, the mm -hmm. last thing I want to see on the resume is the GPA. Right. I mean, yeah. it's an accomplishment to finish the master's or finish the PhD. I'm not mm -hmm. concerned with, oh, you know, you've got a 398 and this student's got a 395. It's like, mm -hmm. you're covering the same material. It's supposed to be at a graduate level. It's more focused on learning, not, you know, getting, crossing the, the T's and dotting the I's. So I yeah. typically throw that out and recommend, I mean, even other people in the industry hiring, like GPA is nothing. It should be more focused on what courses did they take? Uh, how well do they do in the interviews? Those sorts of things. Right. And like a way to think about it and say, you know, the difference between 398 and 395 is statistically <laughs> insignificant, right? And so, so the, you know, what we're getting to is, um, you know, this, even later when we talk about rankings, it'll be the same story that you're trying to measure something and you're measuring with error. So, you know, GPA is a measurement and uh, it's, a, you know, it's an error prone measurement. I mean, it's like, you know, there's, there's people who get lucky, there's people who get unlucky uh, for one thing. And um, there's also just people who somehow are good in tests and not good in tests. And, you know, the real world is not uh, a, a typical test situation, right? So, yeah, it's more on a, we are hiring recently and one of the, the hiring managers mentioned, they said in the interview to the candidate, I care more about that you can find the answer than you just knowing the answer. Yeah. I think that's critical because kind of, we're mentioning the self-learning aspect. Like if I have a really complex problem in the industry, you're not going to be able to pull out, you know, something simple and just look it up, but you're also probably going to have to go back and look at all the first principles and kind of build towards that solution versus just yeah. you know, knowing the solution magically. Right. Even knowing, you know, when to think about it yourself versus when to ask is not a trivial decision. It's not an easy decision, you know? Yeah. So, um, and it shouldn't be a reflex. Like it shouldn't be one or the other always, you know, it's, um, it's a, it's a difficult balancing act basically and trying to sort of get to the, you know, the best answer in a reasonable amount of time. Um, and um, there's kind of no easy answers, you know, so you can get lost, you know, <laughs> I've gone down rabbit holes trying to figure out something on my own. And, uh, you know, I could have just asked someone, uh, you know, if I knew the right person, let's say, uh, might have made a big save a lot of time.